Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the May 2016 mini love tarot reading for the Capricorn. So I will be using my um, pagan tarot deck. Um, if you guys want to know more about that deck, go to my website. The link is in the video description box. Um, it's my favorite tarot deck and this is going to be a very quick three card spread. Um, probably in less than half the time that I usually do. So what we're going to be exploring for the Capricorn in May of 2016. Um, by the way, I am going to put up a full reading for May. Okay, we're just going to be looking in the past for the Capricorn. And this is going to be for your love life. Um, so we're going to be looking at the past, the energies that are in the past that still affect you how your past holds you back from moving, keeps you from moving forward, uh, what you need to learn from your past to use to your advantage today, um, the present, what's going on right now, the energy, the opportunities or challenges or both, and then the future, the outcome of the situation and uh, what direction things seem to be moving in for the, for the month of May 2016, as well as what you are wanting. Okay, so these, you know, when we look at the future, everybody is constantly manifesting each day that you exist on this earth. You manifest that day every single day. So your future is what you want, believe it or not. Um, so I'll be talking to you guys more about the law of attraction and alchemy, as well as hear no evil, speak no evil, fear no evil, and see no evil. <laughs> Um, so I'll be talking to you guys about that with the Deviant Moon Tarot. I will be doing a reading. And you guys will absolutely love that because I'm going to go real deep into your subconscious. All right, guys. So I'm done shuffling for the Capricorn. And I'm just going to cut the cards. And then um, the way that I do this is we're going to go past and then present and then future. Okay, so um, um, for the Capricorn, um, you did get the Judgment card, okay, as, as the past. So this is really interesting because the Judgment card, that's what it pretty much means is that you're reviewing your past. Or um, as, as far as with love, it looks like you... Uh, some of you Capricorns may have just met someone um, from a past life. Uh, maybe some of you Capricorns were dealing with some traumas from your past life that you needed to heal from still in this lifetime. Um, there's a whole lot of possibilities with the Judgment card. And, um, you, I mean, you can see, obviously, that this woman, um, she's in meditation. There's a spiritual advisor next to her who's sort of reviewing her. She's giving her a past life reading. So I get the sense that some of you are uh, re have, have recently reconnected with your past life or you are in that process in the month of April. I mean, it could be sooner than, you know, longer ago than that. But judgment card is reviewing your past, conclude a conclusion or a past life. Um, so this could be that some of you are, that could have um, left something in, in the past. Um, this is a major arcana. Um, energies and events that are in the past that still affect you and how your past either holds you back um, and what you need to take from the past to use to your advantage today. It would have to depend on your individual situation. But um, as a guess and not even seeing the rest of the cards yet, this is about you making you jump into conclusions. And this is going to make a this is going to have a major impact on your life. You might jump to a conclusion and make a decision too fast and too hastily instead of giving people more chances. So this is something where you're going to have to quit being so hardcore Capricorn. Um, also, I can see that some of you are going to be breaking up with some people this month. Um, this could be a make or break period. This is a time for you to be very clear about what you want out of life. 
as well as um, you know, as well as 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 well as um, making sure that you're being honest about what you want in the relationship. If it's something that you're not happy with, you might need to leave that behind. I kind of feel like I'm talking over it a little bit, guys. Okay, that's better. Um, I can see that some of you Capricorns with this judgment card, it just means that you are going to end a relationship or that you recently ended it. And it may have been a relationship that had a lot of karmic ties, but you still couldn't deal with it. It was way too much for you to deal with. This person just was not giving you what you needed. Okay. Um, I can see presently you've got the Ace of Swords. And so you're really trying to be smart about things, Capricorn. This is what you're working on presently. You went through all that stuff in the past and now um, you want a new beginning. This is what the Ace of Swords mean. A new beginning, an analysis of a situation, a reflection. So right now you're reflecting a lot. And you might be reflecting in anger. This is a swords. This is the ace of swords. So this is when you are discovering your, your perception. This is your third eye. Some of you might be reflecting onto other people with anger. Because it is a swords. Which does indicate some conflict. You're reflecting onto your partner. And this is based upon issues in your past life. Okay. The Ace of Swords is a good card. But this is still showing you at the beginning of your mental journey. It's for some of you. For some of you, it is a new start. You already have figured out what the issue is in your love life and you fixed yourself, or at least you think. Um, this means you're entering a new phase of your life and everything is going to change. The causes and results of the change are not certain, but this period will reveal many things to you. So um, to look at um, the present, this is what's going on for you right now. So this is right now in April, the energy of the present moment, the opportunities and challenges you are being presented. You're working on your mental focus. And then for your future card, Capricorn and final card, you got the Empress card. So let's talk about this. This is going to be heightened sexual awareness, which is really good. The Empress represents um, passion, indulgence, sex for procreation, um, creativity. Okay, this could be you, um, you know, some love interest sparking your creative spark. Um, this is somebody very important, somebody of status, and then maybe even possibly I can see some pregnancies coming up for some of you Capricorns. So the outcome for May could be a pregnancy for some of you Capricorns based upon this card. The Empress is very fertile. As you can see in the Pagan Tarot, I said Tarot. In the Pagan Tarot, there's three generations of women. And, you know, their one generation is planting the seeds. And she's helping the little young one grow. And then the other one is, is providing the guidance. So this is uh, wisdom and sexuality. Positive energy that surrounds us and those we love. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I think for you Capricorns, for the month of May, again, this is a mini reading. So it's going to be a little abstract for you. Um, it, for you to get this card as an outcome, though, I will tell you this. The Empress means a major life event. So there's going to be a major event coming up for you, a lot of you Capricorns. Um, 
You're going to have a lot of sexual, potent sexual energy. You just want to be careful with it. You're going to be creative. You're going to be uh, drawing people into you. You're going to be magnetic. And they're going to, um, you're going to be surrounded by a lot of love, which is a good thing. Okay. Um, if you would like a personalized reading, link is in the video description box, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, stay tuned and make sure that you subscribe for your full reading for this channel for me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.